you ever been with a friend and say, girl, how'd you cook that? Oh my god, today on Cooking with Julissi and Carla, we're going to teach you how to make pulled pork wontons. The ins and outs of Hylia cooking in Hylia's finest kitchen. Watch, come cook. Today, for the pulled pork wontons, we're gonna need some guava. Carla, how do you spell guava? Guava. And then, you're gonna need some scallions. A lot of people think these are shives, like my friend, you lazy. She's not that smart, but she's pretty. So I'm gonna teach you guys at home. These are scallions. They're also called green onions, okay? Carla, where is the green onion indigenous to? The green onion land of trolls. And then, you're gonna need some eggs or one egg to make an egg wash. An egg wash is just gonna make the one Remember that guy we knew? Which guy? That had one huevo? Oh my god, yeah, we used to call him a huevo. You remember? Yeah. Because one in the, okay, so hold on. One. And then you're gonna need some wontons. It's kinda like pasta, but I don't know how to make it. So you just buy them. And then you're gonna need some cream cheese, fat-free because you're on a diet, and some extra virgin canola oil. Now, you have to cut everything. You have to make your mise en place. Mise en place means everything in its place. So you're gonna get everything together so you can make your food taste so good. She speaks Creole, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing. Amazing. The first thing you uh, have to do is you have to cut the guava. Nigga, don't act like Paula Dean and shit. How okay. do you make it? Okay, so like, pay attention and I'll tell you how to make it. Oye, tengo un cuchillo en la mano de me calma, okay? Calm down. Why you got shot in the hood for saying shit like that? Exactly. So you gotta cut the guava. Okay. Se dice guayaba, no guava. Stop calling me guava, okay? You gotta cut okay. it a little bit. I feel no Okay, I feel no So you gotta cut it a little bit, right? And then you gotta cut them into little strips like this so you could put them on the wonton later. Ooh. And then, I better get her calling me. Hold up. Hello? Hi, Elias Finest Kitchen. Hello, you gotta be professional. Hello? Jesus. This girl doesn't know nothing, I'm telling you. He hung up on me, guys. Oh my god, because you didn't say Hi, Elias Finest Kitchen. Yeah, back to they the didn't know. They Hello, didn't know. Hello, we're in Pune. 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 Now we're gonna cut the scallions because the scallions, they're like onions, so they're really good. Mama, what are you doing? We don't, we don't need the oven mitts today, mommy. It's okay. So how do you cut this? So you gotta cut them. I like to cut them on what we call a bias. It's a little bit of an angle. So you turn them sideways and you just cut them. And then when you have like a little bit, like that it fits in your palm, you put them off to the side too. You don't need a plate, mama. You just put it on them, okay? And now we're gonna make the egg wash. You crack one egg. You don't got one of them egg crackers? Que es eso? I like cracker, man. No, I don't get egg cracker. Un cracker. No one egg no, cracker. No, you don't say que es eso. And then you're gonna get a fork. But where the forks are? Oh, mira. There's no, one right here. Espera, espera. No, you gotta do this. Ay, espera. Oye, calm down. I got a fork already. She takes too long. And you mix it together. And now, you're gonna make the mixture. So you get a bowl. You get your pork from the King Cinematic Lucy. And you put it in there. Oh my lord, you get that pork. So the King Cinematic Lucy yesterday. You didn't go good, it was so good. So this is what you do with your leftovers. And then you get a little bit of the cream cheese and you put it in there. That yeah, went good. It's good cream cheese, man. Yeah. I forgot where they said they're poison. Yeah, that's not cross contamination because you're gonna cook it. So it doesn't matter. And now, we're gonna put some. Oh, yeah. This is important. I know, it's touching on my. Oh, better, better, better. So now, since we're running out a little bit of the barbecue sauce, it's okay. All you gotta do is add a little bit of water. You shake it a little bit. I don't know where the top is, so you just shake it. You don't know where that's top mm -hmm. is. No, there's only bottoms around here. I don't know. I and then you pour it in there. That's true because it's Miami and shit. You know what I mean? 
So this is what it looks like as of now. My cousin made this, and, and then, I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty disgusting, but it's gonna taste delicious. Hold on, but then you gotta add the scallions. And you put all the scallions in it, and then you mix it up really good. Yeah, pretend you met this guy at Twist. You gotta mix it with your hands. You see how the, the pieces of the strong in there? That's so good. You just gotta keep mixing it. You don't always want to eat the same thing because it gets really boring. You want more cream cheese, but we don't have. But like, like we do with the barbecue sauce, mommy, you scrape the bottom and you put it in there, and that's it. I'll do it like you met on grinder. I'm not a fan of it, you know. I only get the wasasa looking you, one. Wasasa? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what wasasa is? Wasasa. Que una wasasa. What kind right, of sauce is that? You teach me how to cook, and I teach you the Hialeah lingo. Oh my God, I get to learn kosher. All right. Sasa Mama, mm -hmm. that means he's good looking, mm -hmm. but he works on a LA Fitness. Oh shit, that's it. Wasasa. What? I thought it was Wasasa. No, it's not Wasasa. Oh, you confused. It's Wasasa. You see, but now I gotta watch. Look, you see that guy? Like, in the distance? That's a Wasasa guy. Mm. How long should we let the oil stay there? You should let the oil get a little bit hot, not too hot. Right? So you gotta turn it on. When you hear the clicking, it's gonna go. Oh yeah, ahí, y se prendió. So you gotta turn it up as high as it goes so that the oil could get hot. But you need to make sure, oh, hi. You need to make sure that it's hot enough so that when you put a wonton in there, it automatically starts to crisp up. So let's check it out. You see? That's not hot. That's not hot here in a wasasa. It's not a so it's not ready. So, I'm going to teach you in the meantime, while the oil gets hot, how to make the one. So you're going to get the one ton, okay. and you're going to put the wayaba that you cut up earlier in the middle. And then you get a little bit of the mixture that you made with the pulled pork, mm. and you put it in the middle, right? Yes. And now, you get your egg wash. This Creo is what the egg wash. I know, right? My mom knows how to cook yeah. so good. So now what you do is you get the egg wash and you put a little bit on your finger, right? And you put it on the corners of the wonton papers so that way it could stick together. So you gotta put the rest of the egg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so happy about this recipe. <laughs> Okay, teach me how to cook, nigga, because I'm not going to tell my friend. Exactly, that's why people left you there. I know you got a little bit of cream cheese in there. So I gotta wash my hands because she's still not sucia. Babe, this would be a great holiday dish. Because when it's left over is for Lechon from what day? Noche Buena. Oh. Baby's birthday. Marie Lucy King. Yeah, Happy New Year. And a happy baby shower. Right, Valentine. Vite, all yeah. those days you have Lechon and it's left over. So Bam. you can make this and it's so good. Oh yeah. People? No. No, no, ban? No. Wasasa. Wasasa. Does this look right? Yeah, that looks right. So when you see that your wonton is like that and it's looking a little bit crispy, you gotta check it. If it's still floppy like this, the oil's not hot enough. So you gotta leave it in there to make sure that the oil gets hot. You see, my cousin's really smart, guys. She's gonna find you a man. No, it's because I went to like Hong Kong Blue and Miramar. Oh. Okay, so now you get the corners and you put them together and you put them together. Let me try. You should do I'm it. like the typical, like, household American. Oh you my god, this is like making a burrito. Remember when I dated that Mexican guy? So run me through it. It's guava, pork, pork mixture, one. You gotta put the egg wash okay. on the wonton. Okay. I got you with my uh -huh, finger. Right? You it, just uh -huh, dip. With your finger, you dip it. When I dip, you dip. We dip. Oh my god, you like quick nasty. I know. That song so good. It takes me back to Thunder Wheels. I look what my prima did. Hello, Hello. titties are never perfect, so don't expect my wontons to be. I know, but, but you, you know what? Cookies should be fun because it's all about artistic and just a celebration of cuisines. But you also gotta make it look pretty so it doesn't fall apart in the oil. And now we're gonna put the wontons. Ah! It's all that caliente con cojones. You took it out of the fucking frying oil. <laughs> With a spoon, but. <laughs> all right, now you gotta put the wonton in the fryer after it's, after the oil's ready. 
and you gotta make sure it cooks all the way through. You wanna see bubbles? Like when I get Pepe head underwater? And you gotta make sure. Come look over here. Come here. So Wait, get, get in here, bro. Don't be scared. I don't bite. Our makeup's on point today, Papi. I know. Look. You got clones. So you gotta make sure that it's frying like that. And when it flows to the top of the oils, that's when it's done. Take those ugly Ooh. tomatoes away. She's always trying to put those tomatoes everywhere. Ooh. Now that we're done frying the wontons, I'm gonna teach you how to plate them up. Prima, they're still hot. They just came out of the fryer. Oh, yeah. But let me get a plate, Prima. Uh, mm, good I time. know. All right. I told you they were good, mommy. Next is plating. When being with guests, you wanna bring out your finest china. And you always wanna make sure you have a clean plate. So, because we used a little bit of barbecue sauce inside the wontons, we're gonna dip it in some barbecue sauce. And this is how we're gonna plate it up. Just get a little bit, put it on the middle of the plate, and smudge it. It looks super cute, super expensive, and then you just put your wontons in the middle, and a little bit of scallions, and you keep the guava for yourself. No, put a little guava, God. Look how nice. But put a little strip of it, a little strip. All right, a little, a little strip. strip. Come on, strip. teamwork. And that's what your place should look like when you're going to serve it to your guests. Now, remember, all you need is wonton skins, cream cheese, pulled pork, scallions, barbecue sauce, and eggs. So you can make this delicious, delicious Guava barbecue. Pork Carla, pork but you wonton. forgot one of the ingredients. What I forget? Wasasa. Oh, wasasa. Well, that's all the time we have for today. But remember, try this dish and mm, you'll love it. So good. Thank you for Easy, watching. Easy, fast, kind of like Carla. Aye, a little bit. I'm Aye. too lazy in bed. And I'm Carla Clara. And together, we're, we're highly as finest. Bye, call me, Papi. Oye. My cousin can cook. Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at summer time. When pizza's on the bagel, you need pizza in the time.